As schools continue to wait for Governor Cuomo's decision on reopening, the Windsor Central School District is continuing to prepare for all scenarios. While the options of in-person, hybrid, or virtual learning all remain on the table, Superintendent Jason Andrews sees the latter two as the real possibilities. With just under 1,600 students across five schools, Andrews and his staff have been reaching out to all the families in the district to gauge the desires for limited in-person or virtual learning, as well as transportation needs. If students are allowed to attend in person, they will not be able to use lockers. There will be one-way traffic and staggered class times to limit hallway interactions, and masks will be required when social distancing cannot be maintained with scheduled mask breaks throughout the day. With preparation already beginning on in-school precautionary measures, as well as organizing virtual learning training for teachers, Andrews is confident that the schools can operate successfully no matter the format. I think one of the things that's really important is this is a partnership between everyone. This isn't about the school superintendent or the school administration. This is about how do we as a community come together to provide a safe learning environment where our students can, can be supported and, and again, really that we can, can meet their ed educational needs in the best possible manner. According to Andrews, Windsor's current plan for in-person learning would see students in pre-K through fifth grade attend school five days a week, with half of the secondary level students attending each day. Andrews says that in the phone calls he's had with families, the overwhelming majority have elected to allow their child or children to attend in person if that option is allowed by Governor Cuomo.